as consciousness or awareness is non-dual, there is nothing in it. There can be nothing added. And there can be nothing taken away. It cannot make an experience directly, so to speak. It just is resting in its self-luminosity, in its, in its bliss, in its peace, in its happiness, always. So to say that it has to create this world, this human form to experience itself is a bit of a misnomer because it always experiences itself already. But where it starts to make sense is when we see, oh, to experience satsang or to experience a cappuccino or to experience a human touch or a smile of a child or the smell of a rose or the joy of jumping into a lake or the ocean. Consciousness cannot do that. Because it always is in its unchanging, eternal, infinite being. So it has created out of freedom, out of joy, this gain, this human experience to experience phenomena, to experience objects. It can only experience any object, physical objects, mental objects, feelings, thoughts, sensual experience. All of that is only possible through this form. In our case, through this human form, through this avatar. The infinite consciousness always experiences the infinite. The freedom of being infinite and eternal is already achieved. We are already all enlightened beings, so to speak. This light is whole and complete as it is.
Why is this so important? To understand. Firstly, understanding that I am already whole and complete and nothing can be added to me and nothing can be lost. And help us to relax a bit about this playing. If we see clearly that this consciousness, this awareness that is simply aware of our experience is already perfectly enlightened, perfectly okay and content and in peace as it is. We are free from the striving from the trying to improve ourselves, to enlighten ourselves, to work so hard on ourselves. We can relax knowing that even it may seem that our experience does not match that full freedom, that peace, that happiness, maybe it doesn't match quite yet in the avatar. But nevertheless, we can understand that it is that it is myself and that I am okay no matter what happens in this world to my avatar. That I am this unchanging screen of the whole universe, this canvas on which all paintings were and will be painted forever. What a freedom is in that. I don't even need to find myself. I don't even need to find God. I can understand and experience that I am that.
And secondly, was this understanding I will find much more willingness, much more acceptance, much more allowance of this body, this mind, this world. If I really understand that this whole creation, including my own body and mind, it's not just a mistake that it's just here to overcome this world, to overcome this body, to overcome this suffering of the body and mind. If I can truly see that this body and this mind and this world was created by myself to enjoy this world, With this understanding, we have the basis to welcome, allow all of our experience. And in this way, we mimic, we fake it in a way until we make it what we actually are, which is this welcoming, allowing awareness. It has no resistance, no problem with this world, with this body, with this mind, with other bodies, with other minds. It loves them all because it has created them for its own joy. So we don't fight the world, we don't dismiss the world, we don't say, oh, this world is such a terrible place and my body and my mind, my ego, it's all just such a mess and I have to kill it or hammer it down or escape in a cave and be miserable there in secret alone by myself forever. Until I find moksha, of course, and I'm free of it. No, I can see and understand. It's like, wow, I, I am this consciousness already. I don't need this world. I don't need this body to be myself, to be God, to discover God. No, I am that. And now, unfortunately, maybe I'm still experiencing some suffering in my life. My mind and my body and the world does not quite act in the way I would like them to. But I cannot blame the, the, the body, mind and world for that. I have to be open to the possibility that my own confused perspective on this body, mind and world is creating the suffering. And overcoming the suffering is not escaping this body, mind and world, but to Enlighten it with understanding. Or with pure experience. Pure experience is pure awareness, purely freed from the ignorance, from the filters of the body and the mind. A world purely experienced, just like in the beginning of the meditation without resistance and without attachment. 
pure experience is pure awareness. And experienced in that way, it's beautiful. It's free from suffering, free from someone, from this middle man or middle woman, this apparent separate person that has all these ideas about how I should be, how others should be, how the world should be. 